Hello tech friends and welcome to another episode. Today we're looking at another cover disc. This one is from PC Format Magazine back in February 1994. Unfortunately, I don't have the whole magazine to be able to go through, but let's just enjoy the cover together, shall we? It says in the top right hand corner, awesome, get two discs in one with our program packed high density cover discs. This must have been when they were going from your single density ones, the 720k discs to the high density 1.44. Uh, quite a leap in size and space. It really is amazing how much they could fit on discs in those days. Um, what's this entire magazine's focus though? It looks to be about solving PC problems. Solve 50 of your most common PC problems with our huge troubleshooting guide. I mean, that would be useful now. It's a shame we don't have the rest of it. It says, Unmissable reviews of Alone in the Dark 2, The Hand of Fate, Star Trek 2, and Doom. The Hand of Fate. That reminds me of the a game that came out a couple of years ago um, called Hand of Fate, which is like a card game dungeon crawler thing. Probably not related. Uh, let's have a look at the disc itself. Okay, we've got... Something called Heartline, 20 levels to tax your noodle, noddle, your noddle, your noddle, uh, in this fiendish puzzle game. We've got Last of the Free, a complete shareware blaster to satisfy any shoot 'em up fan. I think I'd class myself as one of those. Surds for Windows, stunning 3D visuals on your screen that rival holograms. Oh, that's that's a that's a tall order, isn't it? Quite the claim. Uh, and then Action Graphics, a novel graphics program. Over three megabytes of information. Let's get started. Okay, so we're over in DOSBox and we've got the disk loaded. Here we are. Let's install all of these in one go. So Heartline. That one was quick. Install last of the free. Accept. Install Surds for Windows. We don't install that through Windows though, I guess. And install Action Graphics. Um, oh, Windmill and Unicorn, something to look out for in a moment. Let's just have a look at this menu. I really, I like the way they, they're so simple, these menus. Um, and I think they are very cool. It says, hello again. It's time to boot you up your cover disc and get stuck in. This month, we've got Heartline, a huge 20 level action. Hey, we've covered most of this stuff already, haven't we? There's also last of the free fantastic share we're offering and two unusual graphics programs. One for Windows, one for DOS. Enjoy. Okay, let's start with the game. Uh, let's go into games and then heart. And we can try setup. Let's see if that does anything. Uh, VGA and Sound Blaster. Those two things seem pretty acceptable. Um, have we got any help files? Help me. Let's try that. Um, and it shows you how to install it. Oh, you can run it in Windows, apparently. Uh, as, long, as long as you have Sound Off. Right, okay. Um, there is about memory. And... Oh, loads of other things. Ah, oh, it's by Epic. Okay. Well, we all know Epic today, don't we? Um, made something called Fortnite or something. Uh, right, here we go. Let's go for Epic Mega Games. And, oh, we've got some instructions. Let's have a, let's have a look at those. Greetings and welcome to Heartlight PC. Uh, Epic Mega Games and Xland present a new shareware puzzle game. Can you guide the little elf Percival through all 20 levels of peril and tricks? Only time will tell. Well, we won't be here for 20 of them, I can assure you of that. Press up and down. Their, uh, uh, their help files are always really, really good. An explanation about what shareware is, how to play the game. Should have a quick little look? Ah, oh, it's all words. Um, you're going to see this is essentially Rockfall or Boulder Dash. Um, let's, uh, let's just, let's just dive in. Let's just dive in. You're not here to do the reading, are you? You want to, you want to watch, watch the game. Okay. I don't, re I don't remember this one. There's some pretty cool music going on there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, uh, can I start? Here we go. Wow, it's... Uh, okay, here I am. I'm Percival. Well, I think we've got to go around and collect those hearts, have we not? 
Let's go. Good, so good sound effects. It makes the game seem uh, quite intense. Uh, I've got to be careful that we don't get nobbled by one of these boulders. I'm sure they call them something else in this game. Balls, perhaps. Oh, I almost uh, came a cropper there. Um, oh, I've, I'm, I've just got myself stuck. I have. Ah, oh, disaster. Okay, right, one of these buttons restarts, I'm sure. Um, oh, look, if I press F1, it goes into a small screen mode. Okay, why don't I just hurt myself? Will it restart the level? Yeah. Wonder what, what is that for? Switching it to a small screen? Um, I'm just going to press the other F function buttons and see if anything happens. Um, F5 doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, there we go. F6 uh, turns the music on and off. This is why it's always useful to read the instructions. Then that sound effects, it looks like, under F7, F8. Uh, I'm not sure what that symbol is. Looks like a nuclear one. Um, and then F10 actually exits it. Okay. No, I, I don't want to quit, actually. I want to play the game. Right, let's let's do this. The, the, gosh, this feels, the music feels like I'm playing some sort of Terminator game. It's... Uh, uh, it's not tonally accurate, <laughs> I would say. Okay, let's just whiz through this here. Um, and... Okay, let's... There we go. Let's do that. Whoa, a bit, a bit. It, it's quite early in the morning here, so this is uh, very early to be um, doing s some puzzle action. Anyway, there he is. There's Percival. He's very happy. Um, now, it's teaching you different elements you know kind of tutorials before you had tutorials boom look at that let's get those hearts no messing um and now we need to uh blow that hole open so i think all you need is for it to land like that's gonna make it blow up i'm sure yeah there we go It just needs to drop onto something hard. And off we go. Right, next one. Uh, so this getting the heart is simple. Sure, you can see in the bottom there it says um, one heart. So I've got them both. And it says 20 and 2. Is that Am I on level 2 of 20 maybe? Is that what that means? Um, and then 3. I, is that lives possibly? Let's try and kill myself and see if that is true. Does it drop down? No, it stays at stays at two um okay right so we just want to make sure this doesn't oh i've probably fluffed that haven't i because i think you need to make sure it lands on something hard but it's gonna it's gonna blow up on yeah yeah that's no good okay let's uh commit suicide in a computer game sense um and let's Oh, I've done it again. I think I've messed it up again. Let's, let's, it, don't be don't be taken by the heart. That's the uh, that's the trick there. Okay, I think this is we need, we need to make a little route for it. There we go. He's very cute, isn't he, old person? He's got a big nose. Um, that's okay. Um, love who you are. That's what I. Oh, that's not going to work either, is it? Oh, you absolute coconut. That's, that's bad news. It won't go off if I just... Ah, oh, rubbish. Okay, let's uh, kill myself again. It needs to it needs to drop onto this bit here. Like that. Whew. Hey, this is a lot harder than it looks. Oh, I've... Will that still be okay? Oh, stop changing things. Okay, right. Let's try that. We'll... Oh, then no, it's going to blow up, you donut. <laughs> okay, let's let's uh, let's let's give it another another go. Right, this is it, surely. Uh, please do bear with me while I try and figure out this uh, um, absolute stinker of a of a. Here we go. There we go. Okay, okay, we're in. We're in. <laughs> there we go. Got there in the end. Um, oh, that looks like to be a conveyor belt of some kind, doesn't it? If I stand on that, wee! 
um, and then I'd probably have to drop the uh, grenade to get through back through the door. But I won't put you through that torture. Um, there we go. That game was called Heartline. The music is absolutely incredible. Let's exit that now. F10. Um, and can I exit by pressing yes? Can I exit by pressing yes? Yes! Yes! Oh, and now I'm back at the menu room. Or have I... Oh! Oh, that's a... The, the buttons are going too fast. It's a strange, uh, strange menu system there that... There we go. Exit to DOS. I should get an Exit to DOS t-shirt made. Okay, right, that was Heart. And the next one we have got was uh, Lords of the Free, I think. Let's have a look. Um, we've got Setup. Sound Device. Ah, don't seem to be able to pick anything other than PC Speaker. Um, animation Rate. I, I like my Animation Rate to be uh, medium. Register, register the program. Oh. Um. <laughs> that must be... Because it's shareware. You, you've got the entire game. You've just got to unlock it. So you probably contact them and uh, and ask for uh, the password or whatever and pay for it. Um, okay, let's let's just... I, I've given this a go already, so I think I generally know what's going on with this. Let's just get on with the game. Right, last of the free. You're going to recognise this game pretty quickly. Um, here we go. Right, controls for this are bonkers. So, um, A and Z, up and down. This is Defender, isn't it, basically? Uh, and uh, Enter is Fire. Oh, so I've kind of got my hands on either side of the keyboard. If you could just picture that. Um, I mean, we were really crying out for WAS and D at this point in, in gaming. Um, so I'm flying around, I'm killing these aliens, I'm protecting these people. Really oh, I think they're gone. They're Ah, are they going to be okay? <laughs> are they going to die when they hit the deck? Um, and Oh, and I think there's a button you can press to change direction. I'm doing terribly at this. Um, which is space. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I can move from left to right. I can't hold down the fire button, but it's got a pretty cool fire effect. Whoa! They are taking me out to dinner. Um... Okay, there we go. Points on the board. Points on the board. Um, I, I know I'm making this look incredibly uh, easy. <laughs> but it's absolutely impossible to control. Are you going to be okay, mate? Yeah. Rescued. Um, oh, I killed a guy. I killed... I, and quite right that I just... Um, frozen in fear. Um... um I'm taken out then by an alien bullet. Um, I should keep an eye on the map at the top of the screen. I think that's probably what the pro players do. Um, don't kill the guy. He's just walking around. Why don't they go inside? <laughs> Why don't they dig a hole in one of these uh, mountains? Um, I think while playing this game, you'd probably be forgiven for thinking that you couldn't hit the mountains. Hey, now what happened there? I'm not sure. I mean, okay, the animation on the little ship is pretty cool, isn't it? Um, we. Uh, I think if I press H, it's like going into hyperspace and you end up somewhere else on the map. Um, like that. There you go. Right, is this kind of... Oh, okay, I caught him. I caught him. Can I set you down? Oh, yeah, there we go. We got some points. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there's a... Right, this is far too, uh, <laughs> far too stressful. Um, the other game... Great puzzler, great music. This one, uh, jarring and um, unnerving. Game over. Okay, fair enough. I think we've given that a, a good go. Uh, sorry, but you'll have to register this program to to record your high score. That must mean I got a score high enough to be recorded. Oh, well, that is a sense of pride, isn't it? Right, Control and C, out to DOS. Let's get out of here. I, I love these like splash screens at the end where they'll show you um, where, who to register it with. Um, I'll, I'll maybe blur out the name <laughs> so that you can't see because people would just have like a check sent to their home after this game that they've made. I mean, I think that's very. I mean, it's indie, isn't it? That's kind of what Shareware really felt like, like the indie scene of games. 
absolutely brilliant okay what's the next one we need to check out it was um we'll save the windows one for last but i think it was action graphics which is in the pcf uh folder or directory if we go in old school action here we go now this is really weird <laughs> what's going on here this is uh, this is action graphics look it's scrolling through a demo of um, all the different things you can do with it we've got a train we've got a house um, and it's all animating and that looks is that a TV flashing something up on the screen look at all these weird things here that are rotating and resizing and um, I mean it's it, it's quite it's quite dazzling I think you'll agree um, right let's quit the demo and start the program uh, and here's another example of I'll blank out the address here as well. Uh, you may bypass this request for registration screen by clicking a mouse button after three seconds. This was one of the limitations they used to put in shareware games and programs just to stop you enjoying it endlessly. Um, and sometimes that delay, that timer delay, would get longer and longer and longer. I think one of the compression programs for Windows had it, maybe WinRAR or uh, WinZip, something like that. Um, and it would just get more and more annoying not to pay. Um, although if you met anyone who actually paid for WinZip or WinRA, then um, that is quite uh, noteworthy in itself. Right, Action Graphics by Michael L. Ingham. Uh, click on any box to proceed. Um, right, let's let's start drawing something, shall we? A circle. Simple. Um, can we change the colour of the circle? Uh, not necessarily. Um, let's... Uh, put that down. Can I choose pink? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I can color th color things, not like not like filling them in. So we got these shapes here, right? And then we can animate them. If I click on resize, and then I can just resize that. Just you know that that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Resize. Oh, that's kind of. Oh yeah, look at that. It can do X and Y axis. Uh, separately um, that's because it was an ellipse rather than a, a straight up circle and then this one will actually animate it look at this so there we go I'm bursting some graphics there but it doesn't stop there let's let's get an object that is going to demonstrate some of the other stuff we've got so a triangle let's rotate it around a particular axis point okay um, what about if we put two put boxes down and we attach them together like that and then let's rotate this one I'll right click on it instead so it rotates right although that looks like it's rotating uh, and anti-clockwise counterclockwise um, and there they go they're rotating well, what's I mean, what's not to what's not to like about that? We got a cog here. Um, if I I don't think you can attach things when they're in motion. I doesn't like that. I cannot attach to an active object with this bolt. Um, so if I just click on that, oh, I can't I can't seem to switch off the rotation. Object is already doing the activity. And look, we can change the speed as well. Let's let's crank it up to whoa. 50. Oh, I mean, look at that. Things are kicking off here in action graphics. Um, and we've got a few other features as well. We can we can equate. Is that two different objects to say they should be the same size, maybe? Um, and then we've got a line. Look at all this stuff. I mean, they, they, this has got a kind of like an almost like neon glow feel to it. I think it's very cool. So there you go, yeah, look, that's aligning things based on whatever I've selected there. And then you've got the duplicate feature. And I think you can go pretty mad with all of that. Yes, can I rotate all of these? Oh, it doesn't know what I'm clicking on, does it? Look at that. I mean, this is pretty trippy. Um, and then we've got some sort of scaling. Uh, can we change it to something else, 50%? Five, oh, is that things that are 
there we go it's starting to make things much smaller there oh look tiny tiny triangle so that is weird isn't it <laughs> this has got to, this has got to go down under um weird old tech what what's uh what's lone star let's let's oh that's okay so it's loading up some of the demo stuff i think there was a we mentioned a unicorn didn't we let's see if there it is oh he's gone crazy uh, what i want it to do is clear the whole screen first clear let's do that clear 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 wow i can really cope with a lot of information let's load um and then proceed come on look at that we should probably can we rotate the uh we can rotate his eye <laughs> <laughs> oh dear um <laughs> oh i love it right okay so there we go that's action graphic it says you can print stuff obviously you wouldn't get the animations but uh, i think that's quite a cool little thing to play with it's just amazing some of the things that people came up with um there we go right so we've left the action graphic now let's dive over into windows to show you something weird um, and old and tech. So this one's under SIRDS, S-I-R-D-S. Let's fire that up. Oh, there's a text file. Let's actually, let's open the text file first. Um, 3D pictures with no special hardware. Impossible. Impossible. SIRDS single image random dot uh, stereograms. That's what SIRDS stands for, for Windows creates what looks like posters Ooh, what have i not scrolled far enough oh yeah <laughs> creates what looks like an array of random dots that when looked at correctly reveals a three dimensional picture sorry i'm scrolling around like a moron here um uh, posters of surds have found their way into art shops such as athena recently <laughs> athena remember that place the Greek god of posters. Uh, people pay extortionate amounts of money for these 3D pictures, which are created by a very simple process. Uh, wow, he's like giving us the keys to the castle. If you've not seen any example of this before, I'll explain how to view them. Um, you've, uh, it's it's very confusing to to do so. Um, he's going to explain. Roy Hopkins, this is. Um, I'd love to hear his, def uh, his explanation as to how you view one of these um, because it is, it is a bit confusing. Once you, it's, I don't, They were also called magic eye pictures, right? Other than just stereograms. So if you can remember, there were some books that were published. These were really big for a short period of time. Um, once you get used to it, viewing SIDS comes fairly naturally. If you cannot see them at first, keep persevering. It will come in the end. Believe me, it is worth it. It takes some people five minutes to see their first certs, and it takes other people hours. Just don't give up. <laughs> We're not going to spend hours trying here, are we? Um, right, first, generate the above example, test.bmp. Note carefully the picture of the face when it loads. This is the image you're trying to see. The darker colours are deeper into the picture. Uh, while the lighter colours, such as uh, the eyes, are further out of the picture. And then it says, sit a little way from the monitor, but not too far. About two feet is perfect. Stare at the dots. Let your eyes defocus. Try to look through the monitor. Just keep changing focus and relaxing your eyes and the image should just appear. Right, sh come on. That's enough chat. Let's try it, shall we? Um, so here we are. Oh, that's text files. I'm, I don't want to open another text file. I want to actually open the program itself. Okay, I'm going to have to zoom in for this for you when you're viewing this on a video because this is about the size of a postage stamp on my screen. <laughs> um, I've tried to resize the window and do lots of different things, but I, I can't seem to get it any larger. So uh, that's that's basically it. Right, here we go. Face and text. Which one did it? I mean, it said test didn't it well let's try the face one as it said that is an unusual image i think you'll agree and that is what we're gonna try and see when we generate this third so here comes the third now um now if you've done one of these before you'll know what to do you'll know how cross-eyed to go to make it work we've got a nice little windows bing there um to indicate that it's ready to come out of the oven 
Um, but I'll leave it on the screen for a few seconds. I mean, you can obviously pause this and try and do this yourself. But if you um, kind of... as the, the description it gave there where it says you're looking through it, you know, I think that that's the that's the key. You can almost feel it when your eyes stop focusing on the object in front of you and it's like you're looking beyond the object and you should then be able to see a face. I have to say, I haven't actually been able to do this one myself. There's another one that I did kind of manage, the text one here where it just says Surds. So I think it could take any picture and it would turn it into one of these 3D um mindscape world of stereographic pleasure what um so i, I could pr kind of do this one i felt like it was coming but again on my screen it is so small that i would have to have my nose right against it so hey maybe i will watch this video back myself so i'll leave that on the screen for a few seconds again obviously you can pause it let me know in the comments are you able to see these things do you remember these as magic eyes or uh, stereograms or whatever um i think there's recently been a computer game that's been featured on rock paper shotgun where it is all like this a platform game but it all looks like this and so you have to have your eyes permanently in this defocused state which i think you can only stand for a few minutes <laughs> I'll, I'll link the article in the description um there you go search for windows absurds you could say Phew, rubbish joke um thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed i'll see you again soon